Despite everything that's gone on with film in the last while, all the changes, everything, something that is still key that a lot of filmmakers seem to forget is that you need heart. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Real Steel. You might be wondering why I'm reviewing this movie. Well, it came up on my Netflix and it's been watched quite a bit in the last little while. There's a few little oddities with Real Steel. The fact that this is directed by Sean Levy, who is going to be directing Deadpool and Wolverine. So he got to work with Hugh Jackman over a decade before that movie. This is also based on based or a short story by Richard Matheson. <laughs> I have a feeling that there's probably a lot of discrepancies and changes from it. But when I saw this in theaters all the way back in what, 2013, 2011, I enjoyed it. I thought that it was good. Even though the story was a bit predictable, even though Hugh Jackman's character is honestly a scumbag and he is so hard to like, even though the movie had a lot of these cornball moments, it was heart that made me like it. The film follows Hugh Jackman's character who used to be a boxer, a real life boxer, but now uses robots to box because that is what has become the popular thing. However, he's such a loser that he keeps losing and he keeps having gambling compulsions and he keeps on having really bad bets and really bad decisions. All of a sudden, he finds out that the girlfriend he had 10 years ago and apparently had a child with, it, he has been deadbeat to, for the last 10 years has died and because she didn't make a will, he has to have temporal custody over the kid. Whereas the woman's parents, which by the way, this woman's never mentioned like her name. The kid doesn't even talk about the fact that his mom is dead, really. The grandparents who've been taking care of him want custody, but because they can't legally do it yet, they're going on a trip and the uh, step grandpa wants to give money to Hugh Jackman so he can take care of the kid while they're gone. Hugh Jackman takes the kid in for a little bit and they have this father-son moment. Uh, to be honest, that is such a terrible premise to say out loud. That is what is the driving factor of these two, this estranged father and son coming together and also finding a fascination with robot boxing because we watch Hugh Jackman lose really quickly, but then at a dump, but then at a junkyard, uh, the kid has a near-death experience, but is saved by a training bot that is named Adam. Despite Hugh Jackman having no faith in the robot, the kid tries to do a fight himself. Hugh Jackman is compelled to help, and in fact, the bot wins. And it slowly starts to snowball, and it becomes more and more successful, and they bond together. I got a lot of vibes from movies like, obviously, The Mighty Ducks, Angels in the Outfield, fucking Air Bud. You can really tell that Sean Levy and some of the writers, including Dan Gilroy, which kind of blows my mind, were really trying to emulate a lot of those 90s underdog movies that heart that feeling of these characters doing something that was beyond their limitations. And you feel some pull for these characters throughout. Like I said, Hugh Jackman's awful. Not only is that American accent he's trying to do not great. Also, just his character in general is a piece of shit. But you do feel some kind of draw for him because of his interactions with the kid. The kid, who actually kind of just gave up acting, does a pretty good performance. He really turns on the tearjerkers when he needs to. But it's Adam and the fights that make you feel compelled. And there are a few reasons as to why. First off, the CG looks really good. There's a mixture of animatronic, which impressive on its own, and using CG that this movie looks fucking better than most movies do now. Sure, there are some big wides when they show the big arenas and they're showing the fucking Doritos and Xbox 360 logos in the background. That's funny. That, that's quite funny to me. But those look a little bit uh. But the fight scenes, like the really close details on the bots is pretty good. I was quite impressed. And this is this is two years before Pacific Rim. So I definitely got to give credit to that. And it makes me have hope for Sean Levy when he can show that he knows how to work with CG and with com combining real and fake together. But also the choreography of these fights is really good all the way up until the climax where there's this obvious Rocky fight, very much so the underdog going up against the champ and there's absolutely no hope for the underdog, but you feel compelled and you want him to win. And I remember 
the feeling when I saw it in the theaters that I did not know how the movie was going to end. It got that fun for me. I was taken on the ride of this movie and I enjoyed it for that reason. Is the rest of the movie kind of like a uh, kind of experience, a little bit sappy, a little bit stereotype? Yeah, but that ending, I gotta give it credit. I got pulled in. I let go of the, mm, I wonder how this works sort of mentality and I enjoyed the movie. Not like turning your brain off, but I just got compelled. I got drawn into the moment. So that's why Real Steel has always stuck with me. Even though this was the first time I had seen it in years, this movie stuck with me. Despite its flaws, despite its issues, despite its pretty crappy characters, Real Steel has something that most movies don't have anymore, and that's heart. And I have to appreciate that when it appears, when I see it. So in the end, I'm going to give Real Steel a 4 out of 7. But those are my thoughts, guys. I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say. Do you guys remember seeing this movie in theaters? What did you think about it? Have you rewatched it since? And what do you think of it now? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very interested to see what you have to say. Either way, you guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.